Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, my name is Nico Pop. I'm the Chief Product Officer for Forcepoint, and I'm thrilled today to introduce a new cloud service from Forcepoint, or SASE, or Secure Access Service Edge. Now, the entire industry wants to talk to you about SASE. Ask yourself the question, and why is that? And here's the answer. SASE is solving the biggest, the baddest, the meanest problem of security today, working from home, right? So if you hear about SASE, it's all about working from home, okay? So to tell the false point SASE story, I'm going to use that use case, right? The working from home. How do we solve the security challenges of working from home? All right, to do that, I'm going to introduce you to the main characters of the story. Uh, the main character, his name is Joe. Here is Joe. Okay. Joe is at home. That's the new reality, right? And that reality, by the way, is here to stay. So we're going to put Joe at home. All right. He's at home. Great. We need it to work, so we're going to give him a, a very nice desk and a very fancy computer, a big screen. He needs a big screen, okay? So Joe is at home, just in case. All right, so protagonist number one. So when you think about SASE, the first question that you need to ask yourself is, what does it do? And what it does is about threat protection, okay? You know, I often talk about the horsemen, the four horsemen, of cloud security, and the first one is threat. You gotta protect against threat. So let me show you on the right hand side the other uh, main characters of the story, the bad guys. So the bad guys are really, really, really mean and bad. They're not really smiling. Okay, so uh, who are the bad guys, by the way? Well, we're talking about very sophisticated people, nation states, right? Uh, armies, activists, organized crime, right? So very advanced people. They have tools, they have uh, you know, engineers, they are very well organized, right? So what do we need to do, right, as a sassy to protect against the Joe against the bad guy? Remember, by the way, Joe is an easy prey. He's at home, all alone, on a lousy network, under stress, pandemic stress, you know, work stress, potentially financial stress, right? So he's a very, very target, a very, very high target. So the first thing that we need is, remember, Joe is on the web all the time. He's in the web browser all day long. So the first element that we need, we're going to put it here, is a secure web gateway, right? The SWIG. Of course, where do we put the SWIG? Do we put it in Joe's home? Well, that would be hard. Do we put it on-prem? Well, we can't go back on-prem anymore. So, of course, we have to put it in the cloud, right? Swig as a service. Now, the Swig comes with, you know, you know, foundational security. For example, the Swig will stop Joe, prevent Joe from going to a bad site where he would get immediately infected, right? A site run by these people. Uh, another example, Joe may try to download something from the Internet. Well, the Swig comes with anti-malware. We will inspect the file, right? That's still basic security. And on that side, we have people that are actually more sophisticated than that. So you need two other elements that, we, you know, that we've added uh, to the first point SASE. The first element is the detonation sandbox, right? The advanced malware detection. And so the use cases, are, you know, for example, you may receive a spare phishing email. And in that email, there is a link that says, look, there's a very interesting resume uh, Madam Ed of HR, take a look at it because that's one of the candidates you're really looking for. Click on the link, go on a website, you're going to see the CV, you're going to download the PDF, boom, you're done. You're infected, right? That PDF was actually weaponized by these guys. With the destination sandbox, we'll run it there and we'll catch that. We'll know it's a advanced persistent threat. Is that enough? Nope. You need another one. You need another element. You need also remote browser isolation, okay? What is that? Well, the idea is actually simple, but it's a very powerful, very powerful concept. We're gonna run your web browser in the cloud, 
That way, if you get infected, you ne your machine will never get infected. We'll just wipe out the browser at the end of the session, and you're protected. Right? It's very convenient. You know, there are a lot of sites that emerge every day, and the SWIG doesn't know whether they're good or bad. So you could block, but you know, if you start blocking people at home, it's not a great user experience, right? Think about the CEO. Would you ever want to block the CEO at home from doing anything? The CEO always knows better. Well, instead, you know, we'll let him do whatever he wants, Mr. CEO, Madam CEO, and we'll run the browser in the cloud. You are protected. So no limitation, but full protection. Okay, that is what we do when it comes to threat protection in, at false point. Okay, all in the cloud, right? All integrated together. And so if we do that, I can tell you, we've done a pretty good job, as much as we can, getting rid of the bad guys for you, okay? We're protecting Joe. Joe, Joe is now safe. Now, you know, the bad guys, they never quite go away, right? They're still there. Whatever you do in security, it's a rat race, so there's still a little bit of them here, so I'm not gonna erase them completely. We gotta, we gotta be real here.